southern Cuba at the northwestern tip of the Jardines, or properly known as Jardines de la Reina, the Gardens of the Queen. Damn, that Queen owns a lot of stuff, but I digress. We're at Cayo Alcatraz. There we are, just off the widest beach you ever saw. This archipelago goes for 80 miles in a southeast direction, but we really are only officially allowed to stay around here because of the elite tourist fishing industry down there. And here is half of the happy couple. It is true, Margarita is upset. From last week, we've been receiving alarming texts via satellite from Margarita's mum about the state of the epidemic in Portugal. I just received half message of my mum. I need to receive the other half. She's very worried for her family, and it's a big family all over Portugal. There is only one thing for it, and that's to sidetrack her with adventure and romance. Let's face it, in these worrying times, the romance part is pretty hard to do. So let's just stick with good old adventure. With crocodiles in abundance here, apparently that shouldn't be too hard to do. Margarita impressed? Dap dap! <laughs> Come on, Margarita. It's fine and gushy. You don't want to come? Put your feet where no foot has been trodden before. Margarita doesn't seem to have a sense of adventure today. Bloody hell, that means I have to resort to the romancing part of the side tracking equation. This is going to be hard work, people, but I'm onto it. Let's see what this island has to offer. I hope there's no crocodiles here. Even crocodiles can't dampen romantic spirit, people. That's a deep bit. Indeed, they can add that element of danger to spice it up. Okay, knee deep mud. Hmm, some may argue that it's not romantic at all. But don't girls like to wrestle in mud? They plaster on their faces at times, so maybe they do like mud. Oh, that was helpful. Thank you, stick. Don't they say mud baths are healthy for you? I'm going to be the healthiest guy on this island. This is all rotten. Okay, so we don't have any romantic shady trees, just a spooky dead forest. To the untrained eye, yes, it's all a deterrent. But to Dr. Love, just a mere tiny speed bump. Role playing can get around that, people. Woohoo! I can see a white sandy beach. Yep, call me old fashioned, but this place has the makings of a fine romantic spot. Sandflies! Oh damn, I forgot about the sandflies. That will kill any romance. Okay, back to sidetracking Margarita with adventure. Maybe I can find some croc tracks leading to a croc. Okay, so the bushwalking is a bit restrictive here since the islands are small and you can walk across them in 20 seconds. And they're also they are mostly swamp. And the sandflies eat you alive and so will the crocs. Oh, I like this place. Ow. Look at that. This side looks like the other side. Look at that. No crop tracks yet. I'm quite happy with this situation because I don't reckon I can make half a mile an hour in that mud. I think I'd be a sitting duck. Well, a sitting cluck. This might have been, um, I don't think this is Irma. They were talking about a, a, a hurricane in 2003 or four. So this might have been that. Well, maybe it is Irma, who knows, that's three years.
Are you getting done by sand flies? Okay, coming. Okay, no hope for romantic interlude here, people. This is not the way to go. Bloody sand flies. G'day Fred. Fred's dead. Oh, I don't want to do this. Do you know where I came in? It's over there, yep. I am going to be light as a feather. Bugger, heavy feather. Oh, that didn't look good. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. And the trouble is, there's sharp bits of stick. In the bottom. Oh. All right, crock watch. Jesus. Oh, this is a good bit. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, where it's going. Just come on. Why don't you come here and have a go? I'm not stupid! <laughs> she says she's not stupid. Yes, but I have an award-winning vlog to run, people, and sacrifices must be made. This magic that I provide doesn't get up in the morning and make itself. Jesus! That's deep grass. I don't want to go in there. Could be spiders in there. Jesus. <laughs>
If we go back and look at the head cam footage alone, we can see the fish would have been a goner. Swimming around, looking a bit confused, without much self-preservation at all, people. So I'd have to let him be. We can't shoot a fish that's a bit confused, people. They don't taste as good. What other mischief can I get up to? A stingray. Oh, let's see if I can give it a kiss. I'm not sure why I've grabbed my gun. Maybe I thought the beautiful margarita may not shoot anything. Who knows? But check out all these fish. I reckon I could get a twofer here easily. A twofer is two for one shot. G'day people, it's another fun filled episode this week, well maybe not, I just thought I'd share with you a problem we had and a uh, possible solution, we don't have internet at the moment so I have yet to do searches so always do searches before you followed my advice because there's probably better advice out there waiting. Um, I like to share all the knowledge and wealth, uh, probably very little of both. Well, you know, little of one and certainly little of the other. Anyway, I digress. Um, so this is our seven that was uh, a GoPro seven that was donated uh, to us by uh, Wayne from Tampa, Florida. Thank you very much, Wayne. If it wasn't for you, the film quality, well, nothing but quality quality would certainly not be uh, as it is. Uh, if you look closely at the top, there's a little hole in the actual um, button. 
and that was the problem. Now, we wanted to take care of all our gear, and so we bought housings for them. The trouble is, with this housing, there's a lot of free play in this button here. And also, the little pin that comes down is really quite sharp. So what happened is, not only did it leak into the housing, but it punched a hole through this button. So when the salt water did come in, it go, uh, did come in the housing, it went into the camera and it stuffed it. Now, the camera still does work, but it's got a mind of its own. Like, for example, in the middle of the night, it'll turn itself on, film for a bit, and turn itself off. So it's not quite useful. I have tried using it. You can see there's a bit of gummy tape, um, electrical tape still attached, uh, you know, sticking to it. I have tried to use it um, uh, doing underwater stuff, but it's no good because it either does hyperlapse or single shots or it just does whatever it likes. Turns itself off and then doesn't turn itself on. So it's useless as a camera anymore. And I'm sorry uh, to have destroyed such excellent equipment. Sorry, Wayne. But we did try. Now, what I think is a possible fix is... Um, a butter container lid, very thin plastic, and some electrical tape and some scissors. So what we're going to do is we simply cut a little rectangle that fits this um, button here so that there's not so much pressure from the pin on that one spot so it's shared. Uh, there's enough free play or there's enough um, uh, distance, a gap between the um, little pin and the, the GoPro. Cut a little rectangle, take off the corners. And now for some electrical tape, just to hold it on the button. So hopefully you're not going to have such an expensive week that we had. So good luck with the people. Oh yeah, by the way, video quality is going to go down because the 7 is far superior than the 6.